And lots of stuff to talk about again. We talked about all the other powered utensils. Let's just talk about the hand brush. So with the same Curaprox brush, the rule of thumb is, well, this is my bracket, so this is already good. You don't want to do this. This is not brushing. You don't want to do this. This isn't brushing. A lot of people advocate doing little circles. You can. I find that very easy to digress into the scrubbing. What I recommend, and this is a rule of thumb, no matter what you do, always try to go red to white, gums to the teeth. So on the top, you're going to do a 45 degree angle and you're gonna come down and you notice how the bristles actually splay between the teeth when you do it that way, all right? Notice, can you see it from your angle? You notice? And from here, you'll notice that they go down. It could actually take the shape of the tooth. And that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to brush. Now you could do it faster and that's where the bristles will come in if you do the little circular motion, but you're actually doing the circular motion on the tooth itself. Not this, not that, that'll hurt. So you can do that little motion, but again, rule of thumb is always red to white, red to white, same thing on the inside, red to white. You can see the difference here now. See how it comes in and out, in and out like that? All right. That's the basics. Now, the biting surfaces are the only time you have license to scrub. Why? The bristles have to get in, in the grooves. So that's where with the little grooves within the um, cusp tips and what we call the fossas, that's when you could actually get in like this. Now, I'm obviously behind the patient. That doesn't exist, but you would be going in like this. All right? For sure. Like this, like this. Remember the back side of the lower front teeth are where you're going to have the most buildup. That's because the salivary glands come out behind these lower front teeth and also on the cheek side of the upper molars. A little rule of thumb, open, get your toothbrush in, then close, and then you'll have a much easier time. There's a bone right here that stops you and it's called this. It's called the condylar process. What happens is when you get in there, and you open wide, it comes out. You're unable to get access to that tooth. So you close, get in, and then you have a much easier time brushing. All right? Good job. Happy brushing. Have fun. Remember, IFBI after each meal. In your head, I'm wiping, I'm wiping, I'm wiping. Bye.